Again, it seems to be a thump question, but it isn't because sometimes the customer or the client didn't know what they really want. And when we starting a new project, you must understand what are the requirements of the customer, what they really want from us. And talking about plan design, process design, we start a project from the product specification. I need to understand what are the characteristics of the fluid in terms of volume, pressure, temperature, composition, and any other characteristics that is very, very important to the client or to be uh, in compliance in the contract, because this way I will be able to select the technology available to achieve that. If I needed to do dehydration of a natural gas, for instance, I have many ways to do that. I can use desiccant, I can use absorber, I can use membrane technology, and the best technology to be applied in a project depends on this, all of this information. Sometimes you will find customer certifications that do not specify all the requirements for a fluid. For instance, they are worried about the flow and pressure and there is no specification for the temperature or eventually you will find a requirement for main components of your fluid and will not talk about the contaminants. So every time that you face this kind of situation, use the good sense because higher pressure, high temperature, can change the material that you use in your project and that can lead for increase in capex, increase in opex, and you don't want that in your project. So in case that you are not sure about the customer requirements, ask them, officially ask them for an answer because this way you can prevent any misunderstanding and when you prevent misunderstanding in a project is, is very very good for you and for the company.